An unbelievable sight in downtown Los Angeles. Nearly every floor of a 27-story luxury apartment building covered in graffiti. The high rise is just across the street from LA Live and the red carpet for this Sunday's Grammy Awards. And many people we spoke to are outraged wondering how this could happen. KTLA's John Finolio joins us live with reaction to the shocking sight. John? Yeah, sure. Micah, good evening to you. We are right in front of Crypto.com Arena, LA Live, and the LA Convention Center. It is one of the hottest spots for tourism and commercial real estate development. But suddenly, towering above it all is what many say are skyscrapers that have been targeted and tagged by vandals. It's been going on for like the past three nights. This is like the third night, I believe, that's been going on. And just like a few nights ago overnight from like the lowest level all the way to the top, it was just blasted. 27 floors of graffiti towering over one of downtown LA's most popular neighborhoods. I, I could see like people up on the balconies like tagging and everything. Deron Burgundy is a street photographer who knows downtown like the back of his hand. Over the last several nights, he watched as groups of people broke into Ocean Wide Plaza and spray painted just about every floor with a balcony. Like last night, there was a crew on one of the floors and People were coming out, getting detained by LAPD, and getting cited and released, and people still in there tagging while the cops are still down here. The three towers that make up Oceanwide Plaza at South Figueroa and West 11th Street, across from the Crypto.com Arena, was one of the largest real estate projects in the city, with an estimated price tag of more than $1 billion. But the developer, China-based Oceanwide Holdings, reportedly ran out of money in 2019 and never finished the mega development project. Does it surprise you that something like this would happen? I'm honestly kind of surprised it took this long for it to happen. Um, the building's been sitting there for years, you know, basically untouched. Untouched until recently. Witnesses say over the years, taggers have been seen in the empty buildings, but not like this. Not this many in such a short amount of time. Last night I heard that the, there's even people coming in from out of state to come paint over here. How did you hear that? Uh, from LAPD actually. Yeah, LAPD mentioned that there might be an Instagram post floating around and uh, it apparently was inviting people to come. It's been wild to watch. It's, it's kind of interesting. Not so uh, luxury around here anymore. Yeah. LAPD would not say if any arrests have been made. However, LAPD Central Division says that additional security measures will be implemented and the graffiti will be removed. For Live Downtown, I'm John Finolio. Share Micah, sending it back to you.